Hi students, let's continue with our subject advanced computer architecture is uh, the next topic here it is the the different multiprocessor architectures. In the previous video, I explained the difference between the multiprocessor and multi-computer. Okay, so first have a look on the difference between the multiprocessor and multi-computer. Then you will understand the architectures of multiprocessor and multi-computers. So coming to the first architecture of multiprocessor. So this is a multiprocessor architecture. The different types of multiprocessor architectures are UMA, NUMA and the COMA. I said the three types of multiprocessor architectures are UMA, UMA, NUMA, COMA. Okay. So in this video, I am going to explain about what exactly the UMA model is, UMA. And while seeing that, I said UMA model is a multiprocessor architecture. Multiprocessor architecture means the first concept that everyone has to strike on their mind is it is a it uses shared memory concept. It uses a shared memory concept means here whatever the processing elements are there all processing elements are using the same memory shared memory uh, concept that means this UMA model is a tightly coupled. Whenever the shared memory is there, that means it is a tightly coupled architecture. So these are the two, two points that uh, everyone will get an, um, in their mind that when we are know about multiprocessor. Multiprocessor means it uses a shared memory concept and it is a tightly coupled architecture. So the UMA model is now coming to the UMA model. So, UMA model means all processing element, if you see here, this is the processing element 1, processing element 2, processing element and so many processing elements are there. Processing elements are nothing but the processor or some element which is performing the execution part. Execution part means a processor is one only but inside the processor you are having so many processing element means the functional unit. The another word is the functional unit. What it is doing? It is doing the calculations. One, one processing element will do the addition operation. Another processing element will do the subtraction operation. Another will be do the addition or logical operations. So like that each processing element will perform on different operations. Okay. So there are so many processing elements out there. These all processing elements are using only one memory. That is a shared memory. They are using the shared memory. All processing elements take equal access time, take equal access time to memory. So that's why we call it as a uniform me memory access computer model. Uniform memory access. Let me write that. All processing elements, whatever the processing elements are there, P1, P1, P2, so many the processing elements are there. They all take equal access equal access time to memory so whenever we talk about the equal access means uniform so that's why we name it as a uniform memory access uniformly accessing the memory so that is the meaning of the yuma okay you understand the meaning of the yuma then what next actually each processing element has its own private cache internally each processing element has have its own private cache. Even though they are using the shared memory which is of a RAM. So let's take this is a RAM. Even though they are using the shared memory. Okay. But each processing element is having their own private cache. Internally they are having the private cache. But they externally they has to connect to the main memory. So from the main memory, they are getting the data and placing the data in the private cache. So here, what do, you, what do you understand? There is a high degree of resource sharing because they have to share the IO and the memory in equal access time. All the processing elements have to share the peripherals, peripherals in an equal in an equal means this is the IO devices and this is a shared memory. So here all the processing elements need to uh, access 
the memory and the IOs in an equal access time. So that's why we call it as a uniform memory access. Uh, and this is a tightly coupled. The Yuma model is a tightly coupled. That is the point. Next is here if you clearly observe there is an interconnection between the processing elements and the peripherals. So this interconnection network can be a common bus. You can use a common bus, a cross bus, multi-stage networks. So anyone we can use based on the system configuration how many types of processing elements you are using. It depends upon the processing elements that you are using. So you can go for the common bus structure, cross bar uh, system interconnection or multi-stage network. Okay. So uh, here this is a processing element and here the shared memory and IO. Each processing element is accessing the shared memory and IO with the help of the system interconnection. And one more thing here is a very important is all processing element takes equal access time to memory. Equal access time to access the memory. That's why we call it as a uniform memory access. And one more point here you have to understand is when all process, let me take, when all processing elements, so if you see these are all the processing element, PE1, PE2, PE, so when all processing elements have, have equal access to, equal access to peripherals, let's take all access to peripheral, all peripheral devices, all peripheral devices, we call it as symmetric symmetric multiprocessor suppose the yuma model whatever the yuma model is there so if this yuma model all processing elements have equal access to all peripherals there is an equal access so p1 can access equally p2 can access equally pn can ac access equally to all peripherals whenever they require Whenever it required. So then you call it as it is a symmetric multiprocessor. It is a symmetric multiprocessor. So whenever we talk about the symmetric means there should be an asymmetric, right? So then what is the meaning of asymmetric multiprocessor? Asymmetric multiprocessor means asymmetric multiprocessor. What it is doing? So here there is an in symmetric, there is an equal access for all processing element. But in asymmetric multiprocessor, only one subset of process have peripheral access. Only one subset of processor. That is a one subset, subset of processing element. Processing element have peripheral access. You all the processor, uh, all the processing elements have uh, no right to access the peripheral device. Here, what happening? All processing elements have equal access to all peripherals. Whenever they want, they can access. But here, only the subset of processing elements have peripheral access. What is the meaning of this? Means only one can control the remaining processor. One becomes. Let's take the first. This is the master. And these are all comes under the slave. These are all comes under the slave. This, this type of uh, processor you call it as asymmetric multiprocessor. Asymmetric multiprocessor means only one subset of processing elements have access to I.O. and the shared memory. Only one set. Only one set of uh, processing element has to access. So in this case... The only the subset that it is accessing to the all the peripheral uh, means all the processing peripheral access that subset you call it as a master and the remaining processing elements you call it as a slaves. So I hope you understand what exactly the U Yuma model is. The Yuma model means it's a uniform memory access means all processing elements take equal access time to memory. But this Yuma process can, either it may be a symmetric processor or asymmetric processor also. So let's have a look on the advantages and disadvantages of Yuma model. Now. So first see the applications, nothing but advantage. So applications of Yuma model are it is suitable for it is suitable for general purpose and time sharing applications by multiple users. So the first thing when we are using the Yuma model, uniform memory access model is suitable for a general purpose 
and time sharing application by multiple users and it can be used to speed up the execution why we are using the yuma model to to speed up the execution of a single program in time critical application this is one more application means the advantage of this is so it can be used to speed up exec, execution of a single program in time critical applications now what are the disadvantages of use, uh, using numa numa model so whenever some disadvantages are there then only we uh, every person who are thinking to uh, in, introduced or uh, create a new model right so yuma model is also having some disadvantages that's why they are introduced and created a yuma model a new ma model okay what are the disadvantages in yuma model interacting process cause simultaneous access to same location cause a problem when an update is followed by read operation that is old value will be reading so this is one of the uh, big disadvantage because one processing element wants to access the memory okay wants to access the memory at the same time another processing element is also wants to access the same memory so first it is access and uh, it is trying to modify the value and at the same time p2 is also accessing the element suppose it is taking a pre previously a is equal to 4 is there p1 updated a is equal to 10 so now my a value is 10 that is stored in the memory but p2 before it is updating before p1 is updating p p2 is taken this value the processing element 2 has taken the old value but it doesn't wait it doesn't check whether the p1 is updated or not so this is updated to 10 but it is accessing a is equal to 4 there is a mismatch at the same time different processing elements will get the different values this is one of the greatest disadvantage in using the yuma model okay interacting process cause these are the interact this is one process and it is one process interacting process cause simultaneous access to the same location which causes the problem what is that problem when an update is followed by read operation whenever the update is followed by read operation followed by read operation so first p1 is trying to read later it wants to update it before after reading p1 p2 started take the value means it is take the value and p after p2 taken the value p1 is updated that is one of the disadvantage and next disadvantage is poor scalability what do you mean by this poor scalability poor scalability means if suppose number of processors if number of processors increases whenever the number of processor is increases shared memory area is also increased right shared memory area increases so thus a network becomes bottleneck is network becomes bottleneck or not whenever number of processor increases and the shared memory area is also trying to increase obviously a network connection between the memory and the processor in between the memories and the processor there, sh there should be a bottleneck problem in the network and another uh, disadvantage is the number of processor usually you can use up to 10 to 100 in yuma so in yuma model you can use the processing elements so 1 to 100 maximum 1 to 100 so this is about uh, uniform memory access model i hope you understand student so in the next video i am going to explain the another model numa model thank you